Hi, good evening, everyone. Better today we will talk about the Shum Peter model and what is growth through creative destruction. Okay. We have already gone ahead. We have already talked about technological progress. In this technological progress, to begin with, we talked about the Romer model. Can I wait up? We talked about the Romer model. And Romer model made technology kya tha? What is technology? Technology is considered as increase in number of intermediate goods. Increase in number of intermediate goods. Or kya dikhaya in Romer model mein? What did we show? We show that whenever the firms and investors uh, innovators, they want to go ahead and they want to uh, do profit maximization. Agar unko profit maximization karna hai, so for that, they would indulge in going ahead and creating this technology. So basically, how was technology created in the Romer model? It was a result of profit maximizing behavior by innovators and firms result of profit maximizing behavior by innovators or firm okay. but one thing about the romer model was that once the technology was invented okay we assumed that that technology could be used forever. We have assumed that once the technology is done, but once the technology is technology is done, you can use technology forever. So, as the technology is done, we have an intermediate good. Bana. The technology prepared one intermediate good, but there was no destruction after that. The intermediate good was available forever. Right? So, one thing about this Romer model is that once invented each variety of intermediate good continued to be used forever. Jobi Hamara, whatever my intermediate good was, I was going ahead and I was using that intermediate good for it. No destruction. It was not that there was technology bana and boom, after three years, there was a technology. Aa gaya. Like it actually happens in the real world, right? So after every few years, there will be some innovation. Earlier you had computers, then you have laptops. Now laptops have a better version. Aa gaya hai. So there is some innovation that is taking place every, every other year. But in the Romer model, we said that once any variety of intermediate good, it is produced. Ek bari humne ek intermediate good produce kar diya, to se hum forever use kar sakte. We can go ahead and use that forever. Right? So this is something which uh, cannot be used in the real world. So please write down that this is not possible in real world. Real world mein first you had steam engines. Steam engine khatam hoi to electric motor aya. Electric motor khatam hoi to. So you have innovation that takes place. And when that innovation takes place, the earlier variety is not used forever. Aisa nahi ki purane wala variety forever use hoga. Right? So what we need to go ahead and we need to do is, we need innovation to replace the existing technology also. हमें कुछ ऐसा innovation चाहिए जो existing technology को भी replace कर पाए. So we need to allow, we need to allow innovation to replace existing intermediate good in the production process and the best example of that is koi bhi le lo but one of the examples of that is how 
मोबाइल फोन्स पर डिस्कवर्ड है ना पहले वी यूज टू राइट लेटर्स देन वी हैड पेजर पेजर के बाद वी हैड हैंड फोन्स देन वी हैड मोबाइल फोन सो इनोवेशन अलाउड द एग्जिस्टिंग गुड्स टू चेंज है ना तो दैट इज समथिंग विच वी नाउ नीड टू कंसिडर वी नीड टू कंसिडर इम्प्रूवमेंट्स एंड नॉट ओनली इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द प्रोडक्ट ये नहीं कि हमें टेलीफोन से मोबाइल पे जाना ही सिर्फ इनोवेशन है बट वट एवर क्वालिटी चेंजेस आर टेकिंग प्लेस विद इन द मोबाइल ठीक है पहले द मोबाइल वॉज जस्ट डाइल देन इट बिकेम टच स्क्रीन फिर टच स्क्रीन में उसका साइज कॉम्पैक्ट हो गया देन फ्लिप वट एवर क्वालिटी इज इम्प्रूविंग दैट इज ऑल्सो इनोवेशन सो नॉट ओनली चेंजिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट बट ऑल्सो अलोइंग क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट्स इन इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू अलाउ क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट इन द इंटरमीडिएट गुड एंड बट दिस इज वेयर वी हैड वेरियस मॉडल वन सच एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द मॉडल वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय एगियन एंड हॉविट इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू फिर एक और आया कॉल्ड एज ग्रॉसमैन एंड हेल्पमैन इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन एंड अल्टीमेटली जिन्होंने इस पूरे कॉन्सेप्ट को फॉर्मलाइज किया द पर्सन हु फॉर्मलाइज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट बट दैट पर्सन वॉज शूम पीटर राइट इन लेट नाइनटीन थर्टीज He had actually already gone ahead and formalized this concept, ठीक है? And in early 1940s also, and उन्होंने एक नया term introduce किया, not with respect to technology actually, but he had introduced this term with respect to capitalism, and he said that capitalism is process of creative destruction. capitalism is a process of creative destruction in which any existing business and technology will be replaced by new one तो जो भी हमारा एग्जिस्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजी होगा एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस होगा दैट विल बी रिप्लेस्ड विद अ न्यू वन एंड दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिव डिस्ट्रक्शन सो ही सेड दैट व्हेन एवर दिस विल हैपन दैट एग्जिस्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजी विल बी रिप्लेस्ड विद अ न्यू वन दैट विल कॉज इन्वेंशन इन द इकोनॉमी एंड वो इन्वेंशन की वजह से ही ग्रोथ आएगा सो ही सेड दैट ग्रोथ रिक्वायर्ड कंटिन्यूस ऑप्सुलेंस ऑफ ओल्ड टेक्निक्स एज न्यू वन वर इन्वेंटेड इंप्रूविंग प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ इकोनॉमी At each step. तो उन्होंने क्या बोला कि देखो ग्रोथ में क्या चाहिए कि पुराना चीज ऑब्सलीट होता जाए पुराना चीज जैसे नोकिया फोन दैट वी टॉक टूडे दे बिकम दे बिकेम ऑब्सलीट न्यू वन रिप्लेस दो ओल्ड वन एंड वेन न्यू वन रिप्लेस द ओल्ड वन इट कॉस्ट हायर प्रोडक्टिविटी इट कॉस्ट ग्रोथ इन द इकोनॉमी right so growth requires that old technology should become obsolete and new ones should go ahead and should replace the old technologies thereby improving thereby improving the productivity of economy at each step fun sanjay so what we now want to go ahead and what we now want to do is ye jo shum peter ne model diya right the model of creative destruction right we want to go ahead and we want to formalize this model of creative destruction we want to go ahead and we want to write this model in a better way in a mathematical way right so what we go ahead and do beta please write down the basic elements 
of Schumpeter model. The basic elements of Schumpeter model. So we begin with a basic production function, जैसे हमने पहले पढ़ा था, aggregate production function. Step one, we start with aggregate production function. है ना? And that aggregate production function is this beta. K, y is equal to k to the power alpha. A, I, L, Y to the power 1 minus alpha. Now notice that in this production function, I have gone ahead and I have indexed A, I. A, I ka matlab kya hai? That it is changing. Something is changing. Right. So what we are, this is the difference between Schumpeter model and Romer model that here we are indexing by I. Hamara ek subscript hai I ka and this I it indexes ideas. Right. And as I gets larger. Ticket AI gets larger. As I gets larger, AI gets larger. Mane hum kya assume kar rahe na? We are assuming that A3 is greater than A2 is greater than A1 and so on. Okay. So like for example, you can think beta ki A1 can be suppose pager. Of course, none of you are from the world of pager. Pager ke zamane mein aap log nahi the. But you know, I am telling from our experience, I was also small, but my you know, our parents used to use pager. So from pager going towards the telephone, landline, huh? so from landline, from that going towards mobile. So basically what is happening is you are representing better technology. You are representing, you are capturing the latest technology. So as you move from A1 to A2 to A3 to A4, it means that you are capturing the latest technology. You are better technology, ki taraf aa rahe ho, higher technology. Ki taraf aa rahe ho. That is what AI actually goes ahead and means. right? So you notice that here what we have shown is that innovation is, innovation is changing. Right? We just don't have A here. Pe. Rather, I have AI representing change in innovation. Ye baat mein aati hai. Now, what we are also going ahead and doing is, we are saying that because innovation is happening in steps, we are not continuous, we are making steps. Mein bana rahe hai. So, A1, se A2, A2, se A3. I am not taking it as a continuous function. So, I can go ahead and write that AI plus 1 will be 1 plus some AI. Money technology is growing at the rate of this function, at the rate of this gamma. Okay. So technology is growing at the rate gamma. How do I tell that technology is growing at the rate gamma? So I am saying that technology AI plus 1. Money, suppose I is 2. So you will have A3 is equal to 1 plus gamma A2. Okay. So what we are going ahead and saying here is that if I just open this up, I will get AI plus 1 is equal to AI plus gamma AI. I can take this on the other side. I can get AI plus 1 minus AI equal to gamma AI. And I can get AI plus 1 minus AI upon AI equal to gamma. So what we see is, we know what is this beta? This is nothing but the growth rate of A. Change in A upon original A is the growth rate of A. So we can say that the growth rate of technology is from one innovation to another is at the rate of this gamma. Okay. So what we are saying that? We are saying that growth rate of technology from innovation to innovation is gamma. This we have told that this is the growth rate of technology. I hope that this is clear to you. Okay. Now we also want to go ahead and we also want to understand that this growth rate is dependent on which. What decides how much growth will take place? So try to understand that the the chance of innovation. 
it depends on how much research effort has been done. The chance of innovation depends on the research effort that we are doing. Okay. So what we can go ahead and do is, let's say that this mu bar, right? This is the probability of discovering a new innovation. Just say for example, just think here. Currently, I am having landline phone. There will be a probability that I will be able to jump to a new phone. A probability hoga na, with which I will be able to go to the new phone. Right? So what we can say is more specifically, we can go ahead and say that this mu bar will be the probability of discovering a new innovation. And the probability of discovering a new innovation will be, what is probability? Probability is favorable outcome upon total outcome. Favorable divided by total. Yehi to probability hota hai, right? So what we can go ahead and we can therefore write this down is that here what we are writing this probability of innovation it is being written as this theta L A to the power gamma minus 1 upon A I to the power 1 minus delta. This is what my uh, 1 minus phi sorry. This is what minus what my you know this this is. Okay. Is this clear? Okay. Now whenever this is for any individual probability for of innovation for any individual. But whenever we need to go ahead and we need to find for economy as a whole. Whenever we need to find for economy as a whole, then the probability of innovation that will become probability for individual into number of individuals in the research sector. So this will go ahead and become, instead of this, I will just put the value. into LA. So this will become when base is same power gets added into done. Okay. Now what you can do is beta. I can go ahead and I can write it like this. This is phi. Huh? Isko ek bari denominator ko dekho. Can I write denominator as ai to the power 1 into ai to the power minus 5? And I can, because this is a negative power, I can take this in the numerator. So I will be able to get this. So this is the probability of innovation. This is going to be the probability of innovation. Actually, here many of you will have this doubt. Ki ma'am, in the first go, ye number kahan se aaya? How did we go ahead and how did we get this theta into LA to the power, you know, lambda minus 1 upon AI to the power 1 minus 5? How did we go ahead and how did we get this number? Right? So, Try to think about it in this lecture. I will go ahead and I will answer that in the next lecture. Try to think how did we get this initial probability. And if you have, uh, you know, if you have anything in mind, go ahead and let me know. Then I will discuss how did we get this probability of discovering a new innovation. Okay. Okay, beta. Thank you.